why is there a greater ratio of women in local and campus government compared to the state government? Because there's a greater level of democracy here, probably more students in the student body vote for their representation than people in the state of Ohio vote. Right? Why do you think women are reluctant to run for office? There are impediments, you know, money costs a lot. Uh, and also, women have double demands because we're still raising children more than men do. So, you know, we have a long way to go because until our legislature sort of look like the country from the sex and race and, you know, everything point of view, there's something a little peculiar about democracy. Are we at a turning point in terms of sexual harassment in the United States? It, well, you know, because I've seen the progression, I, I feel especially that it is a turning point. Of course, it depends what we all do every day. From now, yeah. But, but, but uh, when I was growing up, there wasn't even a, when I was growing up, until I was 40, there wasn't a phrase sexual harassment. Now we're beginning to see how pervasive it is in the culture. And, you know, that's a good thing. I mean, you know, we, we have to, you know, of course we want to proceed responsibly and ethically, but consciousness precedes other change. How do you think the average Jane can combat sexual harassment? It's about power. It is not even necessarily. I mean, it's not about sex, it's about gender, which is power, the masculine and feminine roles, which are totally made up, okay? So, <laughs> so it's about power. So we, we do indeed, as you point out, need to look from the bottom up and we're grateful for the revelation that has come from, uh, mostly from the testimony of well-known women who were very brave to do that. And now we have to see where it is in all of our